The Department of Urology here in the Klinikum Klagenfurt am Wörthersee was founded in 1961. Right from the beginning uh, it covered all the aspects of uh, diagnosis and treatment of urologic disease. The urology department is a monopoly department in Carinthia. It reaches approximately 550,000 people in the hinterland and so to say it is the lead department of urology in, in this area. The main focus now is on minimal invasive surgery, that is urolaparoscopy. Minimally invasive tumor surgery for kidney tumors started in 1997. At that time only four departments uh, all over Europe could afford minimally invasive tumor surgery. In the first year we had uh, four patients, then uh, the numbers went up and at the beginning of uh, 2000 we were the department with most patients worldwide. The big advantage at this technique is that minimally invasive surgery uh, means more comfort for the patient, less pain for the patient on equal outcome on surgery. There was a complete change of paradigm. At the beginning of 2000, uh, the standard procedure was radical nephrectomy. Nowadays, we should avoid radical nephrectomy whenever possible. With growing experience in laparoscopic surgery, the focus turned from ablative surgery, for example, tumor nephrectomies, to reconstructive surgery like nephron sparing surgery in renal cell carcinoma or laparoscopic puloplasty in UPJ obstruction. At the beginning of 2000, 80% of the patients lost their kidney. Nowadays, 18% of the patients lose their kidney due to tumor surgery. What I really enjoy working with this department is the ability to function with the specialists which are outside of the hospital, which is extremely important to have a red line in the continuity of a patient care. The Oncological Care Outpatient Program provides the newest targeted and hormonal therapies to our patients who had metastatic renal cell carcinoma or castration-resistant prostate carcinoma. Our main focus of attention is not only the selection of the new medical therapies, but also to integrate these patients in a multidisciplinary approach to receive the quality of life as long as possible. This multidisciplinary concept includes radiotherapy, pain treatment, psychotherapy, surgical interventions and palliative care. For the patient the most important thing is that they had one contact person and that everything could be done in one and the same hospital. Every patient who undergoes a radical prostatectomy is offered a pelvic floor muscle training, bladder training, biofeedback and electrical stimulation. Despite improved surgical techniques, the radical prostatectomy is often followed by side effects like the urinary incontinence and erectile dysfunction. Experience has shown that those patients assigned to pre- and post-surgery pelvic floor muscle training achieve continence more quickly. We treat around 150 patients after radical prostatectomy a year. Therefore, we're the only institution in Austria that offers such an area-wide pre- and post-surgery treatment. We uh, try to improve our technique uh, continuously in minimizing the trauma. We go for single port surgery, we go for uh, smaller instruments and smaller throw casts.